Yo, I am reacting to my students' vision boards. I had my students make these vision boards at the beginning, of like a one word vision board. And the overwhelming theme was growth. <laughs> Just growth, growth, and more growth. When I say that it was an overwhelming favorite, I mean, I don't even think I took pictures of all of them. <laughs> it's a good vlog with Esther Bernard. A good vlog for the good people. Hey, good people. So um, what I did when we first got back from break is I like to use whiteboard.fi. And so I gave my students uh, a list of words. I used a website that had like a bunch of words for 2021. And um, what they did was they chose a word and they wrote it on the whiteboard and then they could decorate it however they wanted to. Um, and they, this word was supposed to embody what they wanted out of 2021. And like you saw before, growth was, it, apparently it is the thing, y'all, okay? Um, it was an overwhelming favorite. So I originally got this idea because I got a random new trig class in the middle of second quarter. Yes, because that's what kind of year it's been. Okay. And in my efforts to try to get to know them, I had them go onto the website whiteboard.fi. And what they did on the website was I told them to draw a picture of what this current school year feels like. Okay. And these were like my three favorites. Number one, <laughs> due date, 1159, the, the, the anxiety, the panic, the chaos. <laughs> If this does not represent this whole season of life that we are all in, I don't know what does, okay? It needs no explanation. Can we agree? I'm the teacher and even I feel this way and the pressure of this doodle. <laughs> um, the next favorite that I had from this class was the peach emoji. It threw me off at first. I didn't understand. I was like, why? Like what? Why a peach emoji? But then I realized the peach emoji means booty because this year has been booty. <laughs> I'd say another word, but I like my job. Ooh. <laughs> and then this last drawing, this one, is, I, I said the, the three of these were my favorite. This is my favorite of favorites because I could not figure out what this was. I was like, what is this? Like, and I was like, excuse me, explain yourself. And the student was like, it's trash because this school year is trash. <laughs> the, the, in, the, in, the geniusness. <laughs> anyway, the school year has been hard to teach. It's also been hard to learn and it's a realization that I'm not always ready to accept. <sighs> Y'all are at home in your PJs in beds with bonnets on, okay? I wish that was my life. <laughs> and you're having a hard time? For what? But then I look at their hopes for the year and then I realize it almost doesn't even matter why they're having a hard time. What matters is that they are having a hard time. And just like I'm having a hard time and just being empathetic to the fact that everybody is struggling. So let's look at what we want this next year to look like. And here's to hoping. It does not look like the struggle. We've got happier, we've got better, two betters, okay? My word for 2021 is improvement. That goes with the theme of growth, right? Um, 2020 revealed a lot of things that are going on in our world and our life that need to be worked on, so improvement. <sighs> My students want all the same things that I do. They want this year to be better. I got a few of those and I can't blame them. Um, they want it to be happier, no deaths, no police brutality, no, no more forest fires or pandemic. <sighs> These kids are way more woke than I ever was at their age. And I just appreciate all that sentiment. Let's improve. Um, then we got some, let's elevate. We got awesome, happy, successful. Um, yes, let's elevate, level up, level up. Level up, level up, level up, as Miss Sierra would say. <laughs> I love that they're speaking life. They want this year to be awesome, happy, successful. Can we please 
get into the range of artwork here from the 3D drawings to the stick figures and emojis. Did a high schooler make these or did an elementary school kid make these? We can't tell. <laughs> it just is what it is. <laughs> these are high schoolers. <laughs> We've got joy. Joy is a major priority in my life. This little drawing with the stick figures and the flowers is really doing it for me. <laughs> Some of us trying to turn up in 2021 with the fun, and I would agree, fun is also a major priority for me. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the pictures of the food. Do we see the pictures of the food with the fun? Food is fun. Don't at me about that. <laughs> um, if you know me, you know I love to eat some food. Um, and money, motivation, and determination, I definitely felt like all of those kind of went together. Why does, why does that always happen to me? <laughs> money, motivation, determination, all go together. Uh, 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 uh. Um, but I definitely think that, and I told my kids this too, that money is a shallow thing to want to gear your whole year after. And you're definitely not gonna get it without the determination, okay? Without a little bit of grind. Determination, I, this year I am determined to achieve my goals. I wanna stay focused on everything I want to achieve and the word determination reminds me to keep going even when things are hard. One specific, I'm determined to, one specific thing I'm determined to do this year is to maintain good grades and to do my work efficiently. I love these kids. Okay, um, now we have what? I had to share this calm picture, look at it. Couldn't you just stare at that all day? Matter of fact, here you go. Take some deep breaths, stare into this calm picture and enjoy this moment. You're back. <laughs> Creativity, discipline, freedom all things that resonate heavy for this 2021. I wanna be creative. I've been spending some time painting for no reason. Um, I need discipline and the things in my life that are already disciplined have proven to me that discipline is really the key and freedom. We can all resonate with that because the state of our country has revealed to us that freedom has not yet been achieved for all of us. And I'm grateful for where we've come and I'm excited about where we're going. And then last but not least, 1 Corinthians 13, 13 says, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Would you believe me if I told you a boy made that love one? With the love in basketball, I mean, it just has my heart. <laughs> okay, and faith, if you know me, you know I love me some Jesus. Um, my faith has always been really important to me. And I can, I think that we can all agree that we need a little bit of faith to get through this year. <laughs> So I'm gonna end on a hopeful note because faith, hope, and love. I hope that it will get better. I hope that we get brighter days. Um, I hope that even though the school year has been trash, I hope that we can take the good from it and move forward to do better for schools, to do better for education, to do better for our students. I think we have a real chance in education to pivot here and I hope that we do the right thing. Be good, y'all. <laughs>